So LaShawn Thomas is back again. If you don't know him, he created the Netflix anime Cannon Busters, which was pretty cool, but probably a little bit more well known for having his thumbprint on a handful of Boondocks episodes that went pretty well. And he's here with Yasuke. Yasuke. Yeah, I'm going to go with Yasuke. There's a lot of people kind of, well, not a lot of people, but there are some people getting kind of anal about whether it's Yasuke or Yasuke. And with my thinking, whenever someone's saying it's Yasuke, they're like, look at the U, bro. You just, just missing the U. And it's like, that's not the first time in history in a name or word that you just pretend a letter isn't there. I know words are weird. That's one reason I'm going to say Yasuke. Second reason is because they say Yasuke in the English dub. And I know using the English dub for the pronunciation of a Japanese name can be a little wishy-washy. But my third reason is if you look at how Yasuke is spelled, it's spelled very, very similar to two incredibly popular anime characters, Yusuke Yurameshi and Sasuke Uchiha. And as you just heard me say, you don't say Yuzuke, you say Yusuke. You don't say Sasuke, you say Sasuke. So I'm gonna say Yasuke, but hopefully if that's wrong, then it's not the end of the world. So this anime got announced towards like the middle to, yeah, towards like the middle of April, I think, and everyone was pretty hype about it and it finally came out and a lot of people were lukewarm on it, kind of, sort of. It's like, ah, it's good, but it could have been better in certain areas. So for context, Yasuke is an anime about a black samurai who, well, was a black samurai. I don't really want to get too nitty gritty into the plot, but essentially here's what happened. There was beef going on in feudal Japan and Yasuke serves to be a ringer in the beef and cause you know, he's like a, a big black guy. And during those times, lots of Asian men were small. And so he was just naturally able to on top of the training that he ends up doing to fuck people up and shift the tides of this little beef squabble war whatever you want to call it whoop, whoop, whoop. this is based and inspired by an actual event in history where there was a samurai who entered Utah Japan and fuck niggas up because you know he was big so yeah <laughs> now, honestly I think this is the biggest issue that has I don't want to say polarizing opinions I feel like the word polarizing is getting too like buzzwordy now and people are using it when it really shouldn't be used because I don't think there are polarizing opinions on Yazuke. I think that that more implies that either you completely love it or you completely hate it but I think a lot more people are just really in the middle about it. A lot of people who are excited about this anime are like oh yeah we're gonna get a gritty retelling of the story of a black samurai and it's gonna be led by LaShawn Thomas who has style so it's probably gonna have a little little hip-hop influence in there who doesn't love a good black anime character you know what I'm saying me being a black person a fan of anime I'm always gassed to see more people of color more specifically black people in anime is dope. So a lot of people had this expectation and once you get into the anime like literally within the first moments you realize that it's not really a one-to-one -one retelling of the story of Yasuke that everyone's been kind of talking about and researching on since his anime got announced. Now again I won't get into the nitty-gritty details about Yasuke's story you can find plenty of videos in fact the Black Mesa Doji get a D1 video on like the actual telling of the story so I think a lot of people saw those videos and they did the research maybe they even read the book if they just wanted to go that dumb hard and they got really 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 familiar with the information that they thought was going to be used to create this anime so they got their expectations up of what they thought they were going to see and they didn't exactly get that Yasuke is well obviously because you know it's a real life tell was gritty and grimy and it's a nice solid samurai story and it's all about honor and then you turn on the Yasuke anime and it's like there's some magic mixed in and there's some mechs mixed in and you're like okay well they just they just didn't have robots in feudal Japan back then so I don't know what this is and I don't even necessarily know if people hate that aspect of it necessarily i mean i'm not really the biggest fan of mechs in general but even i don't necessarily hate that there's magic and mechs in it it's just kind of confusing because once you see those you're like oh okay well this obviously isn't 
our world so you're just sitting back waiting for six episodes for them to kind of explain the world and kind of explain how it works and explain why there's all this like high value technology when it comes to mechs but there's also still like the type of living they did during the days of feudal japan and it doesn't really make any sense and it has this like weird dynamic to it there's some people who are just outright pissed at the occlusion of magic and mechs in the anime and i'm not really one of those people i think i'm more like within the majority of if you wanted to do that that's fine but can you explain why they're here like it really comes across as someone was just letting their imagination run wild with the storyboard and everything they thought of they just decided to include inside this anime it's not necessarily bad it's just weird it just feels really really out of place that's the perfect word there are certain things inside the anime that feel kind of out of place and i think for the most part the people who are most disappointed in the anime are people who did their research and their homework i don't know if lashawn thomas netflix whoever the storyboard writers anticipated people actually going and looking at the real story of Yasuke or not I mean they had to though right because when they were like promoting the show they were saying it's inspired did they say inspired by did they say based on I don't know I don't even know actually now I think about it that the the promotion of the show kind of imply that they were just going to be bringing Yasuke's story to life or were they just kind of implying that the story they were going to tell was going to be loosely based on Yasuke. I don't know. I have to like go back and watch trailers, but I think that's where a lot of the beef comes in. Expectations not being met. I think if you come in not knowing anything about Yasuke's story and you come in with no expectations, then you will enjoy this little six episode run of this anime a whole lot more because it's still kind of fun. The story's a little like hard to keep track of at times and I kind of hate when a story is hard to keep track of, but it doesn't really reward you for keeping track of it. Like, for example, like something like Attack on Titan can be hard to keep track of, but when the story gets complex, you're rewarded, right? Like, it seems like the story is hard to keep track of, but it's not because the story is necessarily super complex there's just a lot of things happening really, really fast. And I think that comes to like the second big flaw with it maybe six episodes wasn't enough to do what they really wanted to do like this anime i'd be a lot lot higher on yasuke if like we could have got like one or two episodes that really focused on like building and flushing out the world because if you were just gonna do like this is feudal japan you didn't really need to flush out the world right because we know what feudal japan is like if you want a better understanding of feudal japan just go do some research but when you're including again the magic power aspect of it and the mech aspect of it that's kind of confusing because you know we don't know anything about this world right like even just a simple inclusion of like uh the rich evil men have gotten a hold of some secret technology that the average person has no idea of even something as like simple as that would have went really far than just throwing it in our face and being like yeah this exists in this anime so enjoy i think when it's all said and done and i don't know if it's just like a true reflection of lashawn thomas or just a happy coincidence but the same big issue I had with Cannon Busters is really the same issue I have with Yasuke in that it seems like there was too much to try to fit into such a small package. The big beef I had with Cannon Busters is that first season of Cannon Busters isn't bad, don't get it twisted, but it's very story driven and it's very much so trying to get us to understand the characters and their motivations and the things they want and care about in the world and as soon as we have like a decent understanding of that and we get like to the meat of the show it ends it literally ends right so i think not necessarily in the same way of like feeling like Yas yasuke ends too soon but it feels like when Yasuke finally gets into its groove, it's over. Like when you're finally 
really in there and you really like all right let's let's see what this got to tell like it's done it's completely done because i say for you to be really invested in the show you don't get super super invested in my opinion until about four episodes in and that's over half because it's only six episodes but animation dope art style dope character designs dope music dope voice acting from the perspective of the dub and the sub dope op really really dope it's just the story aspect of it which you know is like the meat of any show is uh, is a little lackluster i can't lie i think i can't speak for everybody but for me what i was expecting when i went and familiarized myself with yasuke if you familiarize yourself with yasuke then you already know this but essentially in the history books and the story that's been told over years and years and years since this actual event happened no one really knows like the origin of yasuke and no one really knows what he did after the events of like the big fallout that happened right like no one really knows where he went off to when i guess the little war was over so what i was really hoping is that they were just gonna bring what we already know to life in like anime form and mappa was gonna you know say be all dope with it and they were just gonna take their own creative liberties in giving yasuke an origin story and giving yasuke an end that's kind of what i was hoping for and i can't speak for everybody but i think that's what a lot of other people were kind of hoping for because there are people who just really 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 were confused about the inclusion of magic and mechs and i'm not gonna say that i was completely turned off when i saw that they were there but it was i was a little off-putting you know what i'm saying like i did think i was gonna get like this grounded emotional samurai tale and don't get me wrong it's still emotional it still feels grounded in certain aspects the characters feel very human um but eh eh and to be honest Yasuke is not really the focus of the story. The focus of the story is like a little girl, which is eh. It's just eh. It's just all a lot of eh, really. Like if I had to give it an out of 10, probably like like a 6.5. I think Yasuke could have served a lot better if they went the route that I just said in terms of like just literally translating what we already know about Yasuke as a real life person that existed in history translating that story and then taking creative liberties to give him an entertaining origin and an entertaining end or if they really did want to go with like you know like the route they took then taking the time to flush out the world and tell us why all of this exists in feudal japan would have really helped the show but that being said it's still a really fun show so if you're interested i still say check it out it's something that you can binge in like an afternoon if we're being honest um it's still really dope animation i'm not gonna say that when you watch the show like it's gonna crack your top 10 or anything like that but i do think it still has lots of potential for you to enjoy it not everything needs to be a masterpiece right some stuff is just cool to be just an okay show but um yeah those are my thoughts on yasuke and kind of what yasuke i've kind of i've literally said both in this video yasuke and what i kind of thought about it but whatever Now, in the video, I make videos of this quality or better all the time. If you want to see more videos like this, then you should probably subscribe. And if you don't, then you probably shouldn't subscribe. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm leaving.